We are back with the second character in this long running series that's really gonna be really long. But um, Raphael, like I said, uh, he has gotten a few changes since then. His far hard punch is now cancelable. He's got some really cool effects on his attacks. Courtesy to Ayo, what's going on is what he calls himself. I don't know what if he has an actual name at this point, but um, he does a lot of, and his help is appreciated. So, this first fight against Argus against Armagon. So this stage has uh, changed a little bit. Now there are water particles on it, as there always should have been. And then, like, coding them was surprisingly simple. Oh, okay. Armor guy can be a bit of an annoying person to fight. But um, yeah, this stage has received a lot of changes. The water moves differently. There's a little bit of water covering up the fighter. And then, of course, because of that, we got splashing. Which uh, was something that was not able to be properly emulated in Mugen outside of a full game. I cannot believe I dropped that. So I won't drop that. So comboing his head was probably one of his most satisfying things that he has. Alright, so War doesn't show up midway through the game anymore. He just shows up wherever he wants to. Because that's what chaos is all about. Matchup is pretty straightforward. You look out for that and you punish it when you see it for the big damage, which Raphael does a good amount of damage for his BNBs. It's just you got to buffer a couple charge moves, and that's it. It's pretty pretty simple to do. That's how you stop that, maybe. Uh, all right. So War can get started doing his shenanigans. You don't want that to happen. All right, the hit counter. That's also a new thing since the last time I did an arcade run through with this character. So this is just more or less for the uh, people who don't get to watch me stream um, so they can see all that's what's new, you know? And I'm gonna go through every character and explain what's new with them. Flash is always moving around. You gotta watch him. Almost had to confirm off of that. He is obnoxious. But um, that's pretty much how you play him. You're always moving. And you're frustrating their opponent. So they make mistakes. And you capitalize off of it. I have no idea how I stop that, but I'll take it. I didn't mean to do that, but we'll take it. Chip damage to the rescue. things before that. I could have got the Omega Super. Coming at you. 
So, um, for those who are not familiar, before the movie Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Raphael met Batman before in a comic book. And um, there's not too many people who don't know that, but just for the people who don't, that's why uh, he's aware of who he is in this game. I forgot you can link half of that, but it makes sense. So, it's not a low crush like how Shredder's is, but it's very good if you can pull it off and they don't have a reversal or anything. So you have to be careful with Batman because uh, he's prone to doing throw loops and he can be very aggressive, like in the most subtle way. His AI is uh, passively aggressive, if you will. But that's Batman. I didn't give him a chance to do it for his usual shenanigans because I would die. So the thing about this uh, dialogue between these two is that they, the fact that the dialogue is different depending on who's player one is not new, but it does add interesting medium to these intros as they happen. So the key way of winning this matchup is to prevent him from doing down charges wherever possible because you better believe he's fucking buffering that shit like a madman. Cool. I don't know what he was trying to do, but I'm so glad I stuffed it. We take those. Alright, well I mean I guess there's technically the fact that that stage also looks like a... This stage has been reworked a little. I was I did not ask for that whole reference that you put there that you see, but it makes me feel very happy to see it. Um, it was uh, done as a uh, secret mod, so when I was replacing the stage I, to remake all of them, I noticed that that was there, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because one, fuck Konami, and two, now I don't have to worry about brandishing it. Okay, so I have to be careful with this matchup. Yep, that's all right. So Mike has low stun, and so does Raphael. So that means a lot of it might be in B's. I kind of know exactly where I'm going to stun if I do what I need to do. Superman. This matchup can be atrocious. Every matchup with Superman, like, except for like two characters, okay, like two or three, can be atrocious. But if you don't let him get started, you'll be fine. And that's the thing that, that's that's the thing to remember. Solid idea if I didn't do super. Solid idea, but not enough to do what needed to be done right now. So. Oof.
This is probably going to be a pretty fast arcade run. Not because I'm really good with Raphael, but because Raphael is, uh, he's pretty strong. Yeah. Bye. As I said in other videos, uh, I did write all of this intro dialogue. So all the references that it makes was either arduous research or just me being a goofball. Huh. I mean, that works. I didn't, I didn't think that combo would work, but we take those. This game, even though it feels limiting in the combo department, actually has a lot of freedom with things if you're willing to try some setups. And Wingnut is a uh, no exception to that. Kirby's a bit of a dick to Raphael. Just fucking punching the projectile like it wasn't nothing. Cool. That being said, this matchup can go very poorly. Like that, if I happen to put myself in the corner. It's important noting that that BNB that I do involves three charges that have to be buffered in succession to each other. I don't think I'm taking too many L's, but uh, it can still happen. Like, there's no need for me to get remotely cocky at all because this run can go left very easily from any of these next characters. with that, that would have been fucking dope shit. Fucking instant air jumping light kick. point of how things can go left. So Raphael is one of the few characters I can cancel sweeps and the reason for that is because I said so. That's all. That's a bug. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Huh. 
I don't like that that misses sometimes. Okay, so this is what I meant when I said that certain fights can go left, and Dark Side is no stranger to that. Like, the guy's a fucking dick. done in arcade mode just, I would say usually like there's a point where I get trouble before I even get to the bosses the OS if you're trying to punish it and it's not working I have no idea why I did that but we take those X. First try. Absolutely great. I might nerf his stun a little. Because, uh, well, it's pretty high. He can stun you very quickly. And, and I like to have fun. <laughs> 